guys, I'm back with another Batmobile, and this time we're going to be taking a look at the long-awaited Hot Wheels Elite 118 scale model of the Batmobile from Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Now, like many of you, I thought that Hot Wheels had canceled this model. We never received an official word of its cancellation, but they announced it so long ago. You know, several online companies have had it listed as a pre-order for forever. So when I accidentally stumbled on a listing for this one on eBay, I was crazy with excitement and I ordered it immediately. We already had two other scales of this awesome Batmobile from Hot Wheels, but I was eager to see them release a large scale model because one, I absolutely love the design of this Batmobile, and two, I suspected Hot Wheels would do a good job if they had a bigger scale to work with. Now, just to give you some idea of the scale for this model, here is the standard all black 164 scale Hot Wheels release, and the box just towers over it. You know, there are a few versions of this 164 scale out there, and uh, we'll take a closer look at, at one of the other releases when we do a side-by-side -side comparison. So let's get to it and take a closer look at the box itself. There's a nice image of the model on the front. It has the Hot Wheels Elite logo at the top and the BVS logo over here. It says Batman v Superman Batmobile down at the bottom and it has the all important 1 18th scale label. On the sides and on the top it has the same Hot Wheels Elite logo. It has it over here too, and it says Made in China at the bottom. And on the back, it has all of the same logos, but we also have this write-up. Now, you can pause the video and read that first paragraph if you want. It's basically the same synopsis of the movie that we got before it was released. The second paragraph is the important part because it basically sums up all of the features that this Batmobile has. It reads, packing a pair of working machine guns that tilt and rotate, electrically charged styling, I'm not sure what that means, and adjustable wings with a shock absorbing suspension, this Hot Wheels Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice replica Batmobile features legendary details that are sure to make it the superhero of your collection. And then at the bottom, here, it has all these images of the features. So let me go ahead and get this Batmobile out of the box because I am just as anxious as you are to take a look at it. Okay guys, this is incredible. I am absolutely floored by this Batmobile. This is quite possibly my new favorite model of the BVS Batmobile in my collection. Now, I do have one major complaint, but otherwise, I think this is a fantastic release from Hot Wheels. It looks absolutely amazing from every angle. You know, it's not a 100% accurate recreation of what we saw in the movie, but it is by far the most detailed version available. They really nailed the sculpt with this one. Um, my only issue with it, and, and they did this with their 150 scale release, is that I think the gray of the body is a little too light. You know, it definitely doesn't have that battle damaged or weathered look. It does have some nice paint apps like on the headlights and some of the, the red warning labels underneath and on the gun turret. They have it in the back too with the, uh, the red danger intake tempos there. And I love the blue indicator and the no step labels that they've included. And of course, there's some silver, yellow, and red on the, the side hydraulics there. They even included this little application on the gun turret. It's a little bit smaller on the original, but it's so cool that they even added that little detail. And of course, the detail on the back end is unreal. I mean, look at all the hydraulic pipes for the wings, the detail on the brake drums and the exhaust. This is definitely the most intricate model of the Dawn of Justice Batmobile. And again, if the body of the car could have been just a little bit darker, the way they had it on the package and on the promo images, this model would be perfect, in my opinion. This is a very heavy model. Uh, the body is primarily die-cast metal here. But even the extra parts, like uh, these front fins, and the, uh, the wings in the back, all these extra parts around the tire. 
Uh, they're all made with such a sturdy, high-grade plastic that they almost seem like die-cast metal. The gun turret and these dark pieces on the front, those are definitely plastic. Let me show you the bottom of it. Again, this model is fairly heavy. Uh, it has a nice, solid construction underneath. You can see it has the Hot Wheels logo in the front there. And it's nice to know that the, uh, the detail continues on the bottom. And you know, I mentioned how I think the color of the body is off. I think some of those panels on the underbelly are closer to the gray color that we see in the movie. Now, the wheels are made out of this really hard rubber. And of course, the sculpt in the tread on the front and back tires is very accurate. The car is very balanced. And one of the nice features is how easily the wheels roll. One of the things that sets this Hot Wheels model apart from some of the other releases is that it has several great features. Uh, the front and back tires have these springs inside in order to give it that feeling of having a suspension. And if I press down on the back, you can see the body gives a little. It's the same thing with the front tires. It bounces just a little bit. What's also cool about the front tires is that it has front wheel drive. So you can turn the wheels side to side there so you can display it in different positions. I've seen this with other Hot Wheels in this scale, but if you open the cockpit like so, you can see that the, the steering wheel is connected to the front tires. So they both move at the same time. While I have the cockpit open here, let me show you some of the, the detail. It looks great. Again, the colors are bright and looks very clean, you know, like Alfred just had it detailed or something. But there's some nice paint apps and some nice sculpting in there. Uh, there are no paint apps or stickers on the dashboard, but you can see that they made an effort to include the monitors and gauges in front of the driver's seat. So the canopy of the cockpit opens, but the body of the car has a few other articulated pieces besides the canopy and the front and back suspension. On the very front, you have these, I guess they're blast shields or something, in case you know the Batmobile is going to blast through a building or a semi or something like that. Um, I didn't realize that it did that, but these parts just swivel on the bars. And like the Jada release of this Batmobile, the gun turret also has articulation. It rotates back and forth. But this model has the additional articulation of the guns themselves. Each side can uh, swivel up and down. Now, on the back, I've sort of shown you this already, but the wings, they have articulation as well. They can kind of move up and down. And I remember how raised they were in the movie uh, after the Batmobile was destroyed by Superman. So let's do a few side-by-side -side comparisons. Uh, the obvious one we have to do is with the Jada Metals diecast release, right? Now, I love this one, and it's still one of the favorites in my collection. These are very similar, but the Hot Wheels is obviously superior in terms of detail. I definitely prefer the color of the Jada, but the Hot Wheels has more variation in paint applications. For the most part, the overall sculpt of the bodies is similar. The Hot Wheels is a bigger scale. Uh, from the front end to the tail, it's about uh, 10 inches or about 25 centimeters, while the Jada is about 9 inches or around 23 centimeters. The noticeable difference between the two is in the back. The wings, as I mentioned, are articulated on the Hot Wheels, but more importantly, when you look at the detail of the exhaust, the brakes, and all the pipes on the back, uh, there's really no comparison. It may not be fair to compare these two models. Uh, they both have nice features, and it's important to note that the Jada is technically a model that you assemble yourself, right? Um, the other big difference is that the Jada runs around $20, whereas the Hot Wheels retails for over $100. Another comparison I wanted to do is with the other two scales of the BVS Batmobile from Hot Wheels. Um, here is the 150 scale and the 164 scale special edition. Now, not to keep focusing on the color of the bodies, but when the 150 was released, 
Many of us complained that it was too light of a gray color. And this new 1 18th scale is even lighter in color. Um, I think the lighting itself may have something to do with it. You know, it looks a little bit darker, uh, looks a little bit lighter depending on the light that it's in. Um, but the small 1 64 scale almost looks too dark when it's next to these other two models. Either way, I'm glad to have all three of these in my collection. I thought I would do one more side-by-side -side comparison just for fun. Here is the 1 18th scale from Hot Wheels of the 1989 Batmobile. This is the only other 1 18th scale that I have in my collection. Uh, both of these are fantastic models. Uh, they are two of my favorites, and Hot Wheels did an incredible job with both of them. I, I usually don't go for the larger 1 18th scale models, but I love the design of this one so much that I, I just couldn't pass it up. In closing, this is quite possibly one of the best Batmobiles in my collection. I know I've complained about the color being a little off, but it has such an accurate sculpt and it has an extreme level of detail. That and the articulation almost makes up for that minor difference from the source material. I love the fact that this model has a variety of articulation, and that's obviously good for display purposes. And it's Hot Wheels, so most of the model is die-cast metal and the construction is superb. If you can afford to add this one to your collection, then I'd say it is a must-have. You guys let me know what you think. As always, thanks to all of my subscribers for watching and sticking with me. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you do take the time to subscribe and maybe check out some of my other videos. So, we've been looking at the Hot Wheels Elite 1 18th scale model of the Batmobile from Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.